I would like you to keep in mind during this video that I am 23. I have already graduated college and I have a degree and <clears throat> I live in my own house. Well, it's not my house, but I rent it and I do not live in DCP housing. So want to make that clear before I start this video. <laughs> This is the moment we have finally been waiting for because this video is sponsored by me because I made an Etsy shop. Now, when I was in the college program two years ago, we did roommate gifts as most teenage girls on the college program do. And the roommate gift that I received was a wood block with a knob on it um, identified as a key holder and I hung it up on my wall and I used it every day. And I took it back to college and I use it every day. And I had it in my room at home and I use it every day. So for my college program in August, that started in August, which I'm still on, I made my roommate gifts as the key holders. Now, I have been bored and depressed, which I'll cover in this video, but I decided to start making these to pass the time and to give me something to do. Introducing Golden Girl Crafts. I have lovely key holders. Now this one is Ariel. Um, so it has, it's a four by four wood block that has a knob on it that you are able to hang your keys from. All you gotta do is attach a command strip on the back. Um, select designs in my Etsy shop are on sale. So go ahead, there's a link down below with a couple coupons codes for you. Go ahead, order them. Usually can get them out to you in a couple weeks. Um, I also can do custom orders and I do rectangles. So these are really cool because these are Princess and the Fraud and these are neat. So I made these for someone, but I mean, if you want them, I can make you one. Um, I have different kind of knobs, different types of wood. I can paint the wood. I can literally do anything, put any image on them. And I'm very excited. So go check it out. Also, because I'm trash, and I know everybody who watches this is trash, I have a high school one, and this was my proudest one, but no one's bought it yet, so go buy this. It is $3 off. Um, I also have an Instagram, at Golden Door Crafts. Everything will be down in the description. Literally, I can make you anything. Please tell me, because I'm poor. Hi, friends. My name is Chelsea. If you do not know who I am, I am doing almost done with my Disney College program from fall of 2018. It is currently July of 2019 and I have four more shifts left on my Disney College program. I have extended the full amount that I can for this college program and I've worked in one location and one area during the entire program. Well, make it two, but that's another story for a little later. I am also an alumni of the program. I did it back in 2016 and I was merchandise in Hollywood Studios. I did vlog it for that as well. They're not that great, so I would just save yourself and don't even watch them. I want to talk about why I regret extending my program. And again, I am 23, I live in my own house, and I have a degree. And I graduated college. So if you are 19 and you are still in college, do or do not take my advice but Disney does offer free schooling now if you are part-time, full-time. I don't know if they offer it if you're seasonal, but they do offer free schooling. So take that with a grain of salt as well. Um, also wanna talk about why I have just been so distant since January, and I do not wanna do the, in this essay I will talk about, so let's just kinda jump right in. So January, um, started my extension, and all of my CP friends left except Hannah. And granted, I do have my full-time, my part-time friends, and other friends that are in other locations. And I moved into a house off a of Disney College program property because it's expensive. You pay over $100 a week in rent um, if you are in a one-bedroom, a one two-person apartment. It's like $200 a week when my rent for a four-bedroom, four-person house is about $350, $400. So I'm paying less to have my own room. I'll also take that with green assault. <laughs> um, so I moved off property and it was fine. Um, 
Pan was down for refurb. Oh, hello. I work in Fantasyland at Peter Pan and uh, it's a small world. Pan was down for refurb in January for about a month and Small World was the only one that was up and running. Now we did not get cross train in our area. Normally if something goes down for an extensive amount of time, like the Speedway went down, Claudia ended up getting cross train over at Space Mountain. Um, since we already were, or Small World is in our area, we just worked there. Um, it was fine, but it was boring. And it wasn't boring in the fact that it was boring because it was, it's a Small World. Um, there was just no one there in January. And granted it was nice because the guest interactions that you could have while you were standing out at Pan Greeter with people, you can't normally have that when the ride is operating. Um, we are safety critical positions and we have to, we can have that guest experience, but it is very hard because we are consistently answering questions about fast pass, the disability pass, what's the wait time, uh, questions about our downtime and so on and so forth. So when the pan wall was up, we uh, we were able to pin tray. We were able to have that guest conversations that we don't normally get to have. So that was nice. Um, come February, I ended up going home and I had this trip planned. Um, and this was my second time going home. I went home in October and I went home in February. Um, and I, I wasn't like depressed yet. I was just homesick. I went home in February. I was so happy and I was totally convinced that I actually wanted to not self term, but like finish out my program and then come home after. Um, and I was talking to my friends and I was like, you know, I really hate the cold, but I really, really miss home. And like, it just, you know the feeling like when you come to Disney, if you are just a guest and you're like, I'm home. And you look at the castle down Main Street and you're like, this is my home. I started not getting that feeling anymore. And when I went home, it was, wow, I'm home. And I just really miss home. And I do think that happens for a lot of people, but that was the first time that's ever happened to me. This was the most amount of time that I've ever been away from home for so long without visiting. Um, I dormed all four years of college, minus my Disney college program and minus the semester I spent at home. Different story for a different day. But I was gone all four years of college, but I you know, came back in breaks, came back every couple weekends, and was able to see my parents all the time because school was only 40 minutes away. But Disney, you know, two hour plane ride, 24 hour drive, a phone call away is not the same as hi, I'm having a mental breakdown. I need you to come up and see me. And 40 minutes later, my mother was there, which only happened once, but another story for a different time. Um, so I came back and I was fine for a little bit, but in this time, I started talking to a boy. And some of you guys may have heard, some of you guys might know who it is. And I don't want to get that much into it because it doesn't really matter anymore. But we talk, talked every day for three months. Phone call almost every day, texting. Um, and we talked more on the phone than we did texting. And it was actually like nice. I have had pretty bad relationships in the past. So trying to talk about the future is just something that doesn't sit very well with me. And I start building my walls back up once they're taken down. And I'm sure that's happened to a bunch of people. Um, it's hard to date in this time frame. Like I wish I would have been born 10 years earlier than what I would have because dating just was more simple. So he went home from his college program. So we were talking via phone and then he came down to visit me in April. And this is when I'm starting to, my mind just kind of stops. He comes to visit me and the day before he comes here, we had a fight and it was the first time we've ever really, really argued about something. And it was something simple as, I'm not gonna eat where you pit. Can we do somewhere else? And I blew up for no apparent reason, but I think it's just a bunch of things just, just made me explode. And I felt really bad about it, but like it was, it was okay. So. He comes here and I'm just, and we like, we go out to the park and then all of a sudden I'm just 
my mind turned off and I wouldn't talk. I just started crying and I just didn't want to be there. And I think that's the point in time when like my depression like started kicking in and I don't like to say that I get depression because I'm not one of those people that stay in bed all day but like that's what I've always associated that as and haven't come to that conclusion before that I've actually had depression and I don't like to, to I don't want to self-diagnose because like there's other problems in the world and everything and I'm not trying to make anyone feel sorry for me but like it's just everybody goes through it and I do think I get seasonal depression and I think it happens more so in the spring and it might be due to past relationships and other things that have happened in college again different story for a different day that doesn't really matter but stuff like that did happen in the spring so that might be why my depression is really bad in the spring um and it's more so like I just sit on the couch and watch Netflix all day don't want to go out don't want to do anything um, and that's not like me. I like to be busy and like I was ERing a lot from work and all that other stuff. So he leaves and I start to feel a little better. And then Sarah comes and Sarah's here for a couple days. I went out with Sarah. And then Leanne, Sarah, and Allie went to be our guests for lunch. And they wanted me to go with them. And I'm at this point where I don't eat anything from Be Our Guest. Besides, I could get the like $10 kids pasta and I was like, I can make that at home. I'd rather just like starve. So I run away from them because my emotions are just not there. Again, something happened the day before that I exploded at, doesn't matter. I just wasn't there. I am call my mom sobbing in the middle of Magic Kingdom and I'm over by the restrooms at Bell's Village and I'm leaning up against the wall like I don't want to be here I want to go home I miss you I made no money blah 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 and it was just awful I think I cried to her for like an hour and then I like tried to avoid Allie and all of them because I just didn't want interaction I just kind of needed to be by myself at that point in time and just like think um as a CP we got $10 an hour, which just got raised to $11. We aren't uh, able to be, to move up. We can't become trainer or coordinator on our program unless you are in a specific role that needs people like merchandise, quick service, custodial, I believe can be trainers and coordinators on their programs. Um, trainers more so and coordinators only if they're really desperate. Attractions, unless they are very, very, very desperate, they do not make CPs trainers or coordinators. And that's something that really didn't sit well with me because my I plan to come down for my extension and become a trainer, possibly a coordinator. Can't do that in attractions, didn't find that out until I got down here. Um, and I was a manager for about two years back home and I do still have stuff to learn, I get that, but I do have some experience that can be applied to all of this stuff. Um, we do not get continuous call outs so if you are familiar with the points of system at Disney, one call out is one point. You get three call outs within 30 days, six within 60, nine within 90, etc. You get a reprimand. Four reprimands in a year gets you fired. If a CP is sick, we call out Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. That's three points, that's an automatic reprimand. If a full-timer is sick, they call out Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. It is one point because they get continuous call outs for three days straight. Same with part-time. We can't transfer anywhere. We're stuck in the same area. It depends on the area about the leaders. My leaders are pretty good. Coordinators are pretty good, but I want to move up and I wanted to have those interactions with my leaders and no one would give me the time of day because I'm a CP and I don't matter, which was really frustrating. Something that I really regret is not transfer, like not putting in for a different location. My thought process was to extend my location and then only become part-time in my same location so I would have the immediate experience to move up. I did try to do part-time in January, only in Fantasyland West, which is where I'm at now. For those who don't know, there is a internal database where we can transfer to, to, transfer to different areas and different roles. You can put up to two roles and up to five locations per role. And I only put attractions and I only put Fantasyland West. 
We didn't need anybody in the six weeks that I was in Transfer Genie. So if I would have put in different locations, I would have had more of a chance of getting hired part-time instead of it, it's instead of extending my program. And I regret that because I put different locations this time and I have a job. Not going to tell you what that is yet because you will find out next week. And if you know my location, please do not comment down below about it. So just say congratulations. Please don't spoil it for everybody else. I was making no money. I am not broke, but I'm living paycheck to paycheck. Whereas at home, I was making money, also didn't have to pay rent, but I was able to put that money into savings and I can't do that because I just keep eating out. And that's also a problem that I have. So that's, that one's on me. I also bought a gym membership back in February um, to like give me something to do and I have not gone yet. So hoping that I get part time, like that I got part time and I semi having a set schedule, part time hours are still all over the place. Um, and I think the, the thing that is really bugging me with the college program is that I don't have set hours or set days off. And you know, that doesn't happen for part-time either, but it, unless you have full-time full, uh, full -time availability for part-time, part-time, if you say you can only work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, they're only gonna schedule, you will schedule you Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. They might schedule you all three days. They might schedule you no days. Part-time is not guaranteed any hours. Whereas full time, you have a set two days off a week. You can choose what time you wanna work. So if you bid 7.30 to four, they're supposed to schedule you somewhere around that time frame of what that time is. So you have a set schedule per day. And I think that being a CP and I'm trying to switch all my shifts to mornings because I prefer working mornings, but getting scheduled nights and I work morning, night, morning, mid, mid, morning, night, like at, my schedule's all over the place. And I think that's what is really like screwing with my depression at this point. Um, and I also got cross-trained over at ESPN. It's not that I don't recommend it, but if you enjoy getting paid to do literally nothing, then definitely extend it to ESPN. But if you hate standing for three hours, doing absolutely nothing, I recommend that you do not extend it to ESPN. It was nice for a break and I was getting super, like not fed up with Fantasyland, but I was just getting overwhelmed and stressed and all of my emotions were hitting me. So I just needed kind of an out and I was deployed over to ESPN for two weeks and it was a nice break. So I came back to Fantasyland and I was relieved. I was excited, I was happy and just, I was fine and everything was fine and now I have a job so now everything is great um, but that's something that I do wish that they got Dave CPs was at least give me like Monday Tuesday off every week or something and usually if you have if you take classes they usually give you whatever class day you have off um, normally so then you'll normally get the same two days off and it does differ for different roles and different locations because some places will give you the same days off, but my days off switched every week and it was just really stressing me out. Um, so that's something I wish they did and I also wish that they gave you like the same times um, where, yes, CP stands for closing person. So schedule me four to midnight every night. Don't schedule me two to nine, four to 11, eight to seven, like that, obviously that doesn't really happen, but try to keep it semi-consistent. And that's also what was screwing with my depression. 24th of July, and I'm finally not feeling like this that I've been feeling for the past three months. And it's just such a relief. But I also think it's because I have a job now, next week, and I'm gonna be paid a lot more money than I was originally like on the CP and I'm still only an hourly attractions cast member. I'm just relieved that I have a job and that's all that really matters at this point in time. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next week with the last day as a CP with Hannah. Bye.